Obviously, the big news from yesterday was the suspension of 58 brokers. And before we delve into that, like I mentioned, this market hasn't fallen for more than two days in a row. It's really showing some strength in terms of this rally. What's your read on what we're seeing? I think what we're seeing is that the market started with confidence up in uh, 2011. And that momentum has kept going. This is from profit taking, as we've seen in the last couple of days. Yeah. But I think um, the momentum has kept going. But we really need the stock exchange to make some announcements to keep mm. that momentum going. Well, obviously, they have made some major announcements. 58 brokers um, suspended from trading, barred from trading yesterday and, of course, today. Um, can you just recap for us the issues here? What do you think was the factor at play that made this um, brokers get suspended? According to the Nigerian Stock Exchange, the brokers are suspended for not having the minimum capital requirement, which was 17 million naira. Now, the issue is that um, a lot of analysts believe that more than 58 brokers to act, haven't reached that minimum requirement. So that's one question mark which has been mm -hmm. put on the announcement. Secondly, is the process of announcing these um, 58 stock brokers have been um, suspended. Is the question is, are they in negative capital? And are they required to move from negative capital and then onwards up to 70 million? Or did they just have to show they have 70 million worth of capital? Mm. A lot of these brokers are supposed to move from 20 million to 70 million when the, um, in 2007 when the requirement was moved up. Mm. But what's your take? Because, for instance, we're seeing, um, and how quickly do you think they can turn things around? We're, we have a press statement from BGL today, and they're saying, and I quote, we are taken by surprise as we, have, we had earlier taken steps to meet the requirements stated by the Nigerian Stock Exchange, and we are currently working with the Stock Exchange to update their records and are confident that this matter will be resolved within the next 24 hours. So, in other words, they think things obviously should turn around very quickly. But how quickly do you think these um, brokers can turn things around? Well, I'm quite worried about that statement because, in essence, what BGL is saying is that they, within 24 hours, it'll be rectified almost like it's been a mistake. Mm. Now, suspending um, stock broking firms on the market is a very drastic step. Mm. And you hope that it's only taken um, when all the f many of the proper methods have been followed through. Now, if BGLs and other stockbrokers are able to have their suspension revoked within 24 hours, it would suggest that um, the issues were not as serious as the stock exchange made them out to be, which mm -hmm. is one worrying thing. I think secondly is, I think what the stock exchange is trying to do is trying to re re restore kind of confidence in the market. And this is one of the issues because there are a lot of stories about stockbrokers not being properly capitalized. Mm -hmm. And this is one of the things they're trying to address. Mm -hmm. I, think more, I think more importantly, people are waiting to see we were expecting a new DG of the stock exchange by the beginning of this year. We haven't received an announcement yet. Mm. And making such drastic steps as these before a new DG steps um, comes on board might suggest that we have some way to go before a DG is announced. Yeah, I mean, you alluded to some issues which I think some um, commentators have been mentioning concerning this process. Is it really fair? Because um, like 58 brokers have been pinpointed here. We know the market was very... Um, volatile 2007, 2008, 2009, and it's probably because of the proprietary investments of these brokers that um, they have now been suspended and, of course, they are undercapitalized. Um, but some argue that you're probably punishing them for being transparent because, on the other hand, we have other brokers who have made statements, obviously, to the stock exchange suggesting that they are capitalized. But has the stock exchange verified those statements and um, verified those positions? That, that's a key question. Has stock exchange verified the positions and verified the numbers that a lot of the stockbrokers have been given through? I think secondly, um, and probably more importantly, is that, for example, last year the stock exchange, so the stock exchange and the Security Exchange Commission announced that over 260 names, individuals and companies have been taken before the administrative panel for various stock market infractions. And the names of those companies were not, never fully released. Yeah. Now for the stock exchange now to suspend some kind of not having over 70 million worth of share capital and then announce the names. So we would ask, are uh, stock market infractions less serious than having um, below the reg regulatory capital? Yeah. And so if, if not, why couldn't you announce the 260 names fully to the general public as in the same way you've announced these 58 names to the general public? Obviously, we look forward to hearing from the Stock Exchange on this point. And this is probably something we'll cover over the next few days. But just to summarize, what's the impact on the market, this development? Do you think it's something that's going to shake or possibly weaken the bull run that we've seen so far this year? I think as, as long, it depends on the next steps. If um, this, some of these stockbrokers are able to successfully um, fight this suspension and get on board pretty quickly, it would then suggest that Stock Exchange was a bit hasty in taking these actions. If, if, if they don't, and this is a real clear-up clear up, clean-out in the market, 
which engender confidence among foreign and domestic investors, then it's good for stock exchange going forward. Mm -hmm. And it shows that they are really serious about cleaning up the market and improving confidence and keeping those momentum going.